Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today we're going to hit the pole winner. Uh, it was kind of a, a, a tight race between two bands, but Clown Corps seems to have won out with uh, 19 out of 50 votes, so that's a pretty strong endorsement, and boy, I'll tell you, I think you guys are, are trying to test me on this. I've done just a little research into the lyrics and into the band, and I'm not quite sure. Uh, you know, I'm, I, I can roll with it pretty well, but I think you guys are going to put me to the test on this one. So let's go ahead and hit this up. I think I'm just going to let it run. And uh, this is the official video. Uh, this suggestion was made by Josh KD, and I put it up on the poll, and it won. Uh, but I did not have a song selection, and Blota Ostin asked me if I'd hit up Hell. So thank you, Josh and Blota, for this uh, recommendation. So I'm going with the video Hell because he was actually the only one that made a song recommendation, and it seems to be one of their more popular songs. So let's go ahead and hit this up. Goes from Albert Eiler to Kenny G. Cooking. <laughs> Is that it? That was a, that was a short song. That was a very short song. I, I didn't know that song was going to be that short. But first of all, doing that in a, a Porta John, that was hilarious. Uh, it was very clean Portage John though, uh, and I don't blame them. Uh, it looks like it was brand new and it had never been used. Uh, so if you're going to do a song in a Portage John, yeah. And of course it fit the theme of those lyrics. Uh, now, the singing, I, I wouldn't have been able to understand it without the lyrics. But I'll tell you, that sax was great. That was great sax. And it reminded me of all the great free jazz pioneers. From I mentioned Albert Eiler, but Ornette Coleman and all those guys. I mean, I, I totally dug it. It was great. And they both played keyboards, and then you had the drums, and that was it. It was pretty simple, pretty short. I loved it. Uh, how am I going to rate a song this short? Uh, and apparently we don't even know for sure who these two guys are. They've been able to keep their anonymity. There's a suspicion. There's a couple names on Wikipedia, but yeah, one of those anonymous bands. And I uh, got the clown masks and hilarious presentation, loved it. But the main thing was that sax. I really latched onto that, especially the last solo. It was as, uh, it, it was uh, ace all the way. So yeah, I loved it. I, I can see how these guys are sort of genre defying uh, only because they mix these different styles, uh, you've got kind of the new metal thing and the free jazz, and then you've got that drumming style. And so, yeah, I, I get what they're doing. Uh, pretty funny, so I'd have to hit up more to really know what I think about them. Um, how would I rate this? I don't know. I mean, I would rate the sax an A+. Plus. That was great. Uh, vocals, you know, uh, I'll be honest, you know, not, not my number one style, right? 
so I try not to show my age, but uh, yeah, it was fine. And uh, so what did I give the song? Uh, I don't know, probably an A, A minus, but the sax killed, so I loved it. And uh, I loved the video and the sense of humor these guys had, the clown masks and the Porta John, so that was awesome. So thanks for recommending this. Uh, it wasn't as um, boundary pushing as I thought thought it was going to be for me. I mean, for me, obviously, the the genre, the uh, music was challenging, but I was up to it. I was up to it, and I appreciated it a lot. So if you like what we're doing, a senior reacting to the mu new music of the 21st century, and this is incredibly new, cutting-edge stuff, uh, Clowncore. Yeah, I would. I gotta tell you, I never heard of these guys. I would have never checked them out if it wasn't for you. So, hit that like or subscribe button. It really helps. We're coming up on 1,500 subscribers. I'm very grateful for that. And maybe we'll do a live stream. I'm not sure yet to celebrate that. And uh, as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.